Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear Dr. Tony. Thank you for inviting me to come here. It's my great honor to receive this award. Uh, this morning we discussed about, in the beginning, I really a little bit nervous. I appreciate for this award, but uh, to stand here to get an award for me, it's a very unique experience in my life. So I talked to Dr. Zhao, it could be somebody come to here and be help me to, to get that, this important award, and he said, no, no. So I struggled for a long time. Then our company people told me, uh, Ya Fang, this is not only for yourself. It's for women and go in this industry. So this, this word is a, it's a great turning point for me. So I realized as a woman, we could learn how to appreciate ourselves for what we did in this industry. So I'm happy to be here now. Even I, I, I'm nervous, <laughs> but, but I'm happy to be here. I really appreciate deeply ITU to take a great attention for women go in ICT. Uh, I think these words, women go in the ICT, it's a simple word. But I do believe in the next 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, it will make a great change. Because this reminds me, think about uh, one word in China. And I think Chinese people know when Chairman Mao, uh, when China was founded in the 1949, and Chairman Mao said, women can hold up uh, half of the sky. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, these words is quite influenced for several generations, not only for women, also for men. And uh, so in China, uh, we think we should have a job, we should have education. Um, so my mama's generation, myself, and next generation, I think uh, it's a, uh, everybody think, every woman think we should have job. In China now, uh, for the student graduate from university, it's about, uh, last year, it's about more than three million student graduate. And 50% of them are females. Yeah, so I think if the women get good education, I think it's, uh, for them it's uh, easy to get a job. Uh, for the ICT industry, if talk about student uh, to learn the engineering, the IT, I think 40% are, are females. Yeah, so this, uh, I think it's a good example when Chairman Mao said women can hold up the half of sky and uh, really China change. And when uh, the IC, uh, ITU uh, set this topic, women go in ICT. So I believe in the a, in a future, it's a great change. Uh, I work in Huawei for 23 years. I was in this position for chairperson positions in 1999. Um, in the 23 years I can experience a great change in the ICT. I remember when I worked in a company as a very basic engineering, in that time the equipment in the, net, uh, the network equipment is quite expensive. It's about 300 US dollar per line for the switch. I think now it's about uh, two US dollar per line. And uh, 30 years ago, it's no any cell phone, but now we can see it's a six billion mobile cell phone globally. Yeah, so ICT, the industry changed a lot. In our company, we have uh, 30,000 females working in 140 countries to support more than three billion people for their daily communication needs by our solution and uh, product. 
uh, in the top level, in, our, in Huawei, in the top level, I think it's about 20% are females. But we, we think it's still distance because for the total company, the managers, uh, well, female managers, the 10%. But the top level is 25%. So I, will, I, I had the two jobs. One is chair woman, the other is uh, the dean of the, our university, corporate university. So I will do my best to, for the leadership development for females. Yeah, I hope more and more females can work in the, lead, uh, in the management team. Uh, two years ago, Dr. Tone invited us to attend the National Broadband Committee. Uh, this is a, I think it, this is a great committee uh, for this industry. Uh, we hope every family, everybody, women and girl, could have broadband service in the near future. So we work hard uh, in the last two years. Yeah. Uh, work together with, I think this, this project should work together with the government, carrier, and manufacturer, work together, and uh, also with the other industry. Um, we, I had uh, some case uh, to share uh, about the national broadband, how to support women and go in, in this industry. In Argentina, we provide one 40 million subscriber, mobile subscribers uh, used in Argentina. I think it's uh, about uh, 5 million subscribers are mobile, uh, are, uh, broadband, yeah. So we, we attend uh, one project is called Argentina Connected to support uh, women and girls for them to use to living in the digital world. Uh, in Africa, in Angola, we help government to, to set up the information, we call it info, no, no. We call the digital health information center. This is not only help for the hospital, also we provide nurse training program for women and girls, um, no matter how the, in the city or in the rural side. Uh, in China, uh, I think 10 years ago, we worked together with uh, China Mobile and uh, China Telecom and China Unicom because government asked, we work together uh, to, the, 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 the target is every, no, the target is uh, connected with every village. So now in China, each village have uh, information center, we call it information station. So in this information station, the, some village it's a uh, uh, fiber, uh, uh, fixed broadband already connected. Some it's by mobile, but uh, it's broadband, uh, information center. So this information center can support um, education, e-health, also the farmer, they can sell the product, vegetable and fruit on the line. Uh, I had one story, it's called uh, Wang Xiu Lan, to sell the vegetable. Yeah, before that, uh, this, uh, this um, uh, she's housewife, with husband only to sell the product, uh, ride bicycle to the town to sell their product. So the income is very low. But now they do the business, it's uh, by the internet, by the agriculture online. So the, I think, Per year, they can get, um, if calculated in the US, it's about 3,000 US dollars per year. I think this is a lot for Chinese farmer now. So she, uh, she's disabled people. It's not easy for her to move, but she can do that by the mobile phone, by smartphone. Yeah, so this is a great change for the farmer's life. In uh, another case, it's, uh, you know, the phone lady in, um, how to say, Bangladesh, yeah. That is four years ago, uh, we attended this project uh, um, with a local carrier. And this project, it's uh, the lady that just uh, take the phone. But in that time, it's a feature phone, only, can, only talk, uh, talk, it's no the other function. And the lady take the phone from this village to the, the other village just a rent for the people to make the people connect each other. That is four years ago. But now, 
uh, it's more and more broadband lady work in this way. It's not only in Bangladesh, also in the other countries, because this is a solution. So we deliver this solution in other countries. Now, the bring the smartphone to the village, and uh, because uh, some people cannot buy the smartphone, so the, uh, the lady bring the smartphone to the village and uh, to rent one day or two day or maybe one hour to let people to can get the ESAP uh, e-service, like uh, e-education, e-health, um, and uh, um, to sell the product online. Yeah, so this, the, I think, since the broadband delivery globally, I think this can be the great help for the people. Uh, so now we think that our world is facing, uh, we, we said it's a hyper-connected world. Uh, six billion mobile phones uh, globally. Uh, in this six billion, I think 1.3 billion is broadband, and another 600 million is fixed broadband. So totally we have a two billion broadband. Yeah, so I think for this great platform, it's good for women and go can get more opportunity to learn the new knowledge uh, by e-learning, also to get job because they can have the job in the home. Yeah, so I'm very confident for more and more women and girls work in this industry. And uh, before that, we discussed about, I, talk, I, I shared the idea about Chairman Mao's words, women can hold the half of the sky. And uh, so we talk about the female and male's energy. Uh, Dr. Tunay said female energy is like uh, analog. And, uh, a man's energy is like digital. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, it's more feeling, more direction, and uh, more detail. And the digital, it's uh, more determined, <laughs> and the direction. <laughs> yeah, but if female and uh, male, in China, we would talk about this energy, it's a uh, water energy and uh, metal energy. The water and energy is uh, more soft, uh, but this kind of soft is quite strong, water. And it's a softer, flexible, and metal energy is quite powerful. So we, we do hope the men, women, female, and male can work together and for 7 billion people connect each other to have a good life quality. Thank you. <laughs>